Welcome to my channel guys, my name is James. Today we're going to be finishing our part two of the last video that we made recently where we made some sauce tartar or tartar sauce. And today instead of doing our normal light fish and chips, we're going to be making some salmon cakes. So today I'm gonna to give you a very easy, simple and delicious recipe for a very easy dish or an American appetizer to make, salmon cakes, super easy. So guys, before we get going today, be sure to like the video down below, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and if you are on Twitch, head over to my Twitch account and be sure to follow me on there as well as I do live videos. So, let's get started. Now the best thing about making salmon cakes is that you can use the leftover salmon that you have from a dinner party or whatnot to make these little delicious cakes. So it's not necessary that you have to go out and buy a fresh piece of salmon. However, if you are, today I'm gonna to show you a method on how to make this out of a fresh piece of salmon instead of using leftovers. Although I do recommend using leftovers if you have them. We're going to use a few simple ingredients today. I'm just gonna use a few shallots, capers, some breadcrumbs as well. If you have panko, that's even better. Today I'm gonna to use some normal ones. And then I'm gonna add a few chives as well as a little bit of bell peppers. And that's pretty much it. You can add or subtract any vegetables, herbs, or anything else because again, this is like making, well, a fish meatloaf basically. You're making a little, well, or a burger patty. So use what you want. Now, when you get a fresh piece of salmon, obviously you can tell that this looks like it has a little bit of fat between the layers of tissue. So I would say that this looks like it's farm fed. It's not wild because wild, you won't see as much fat between the layers here because that little tail is always swimming, so it doesn't build up as much. The other thing is when you get fresh salmon, you, know, you just want to check along here if there's any like little pin bones and they be right along here. So if there aren't any, that's great. If there are, you I don't have any here, but if there are any, you just have to pick them out or you can take them out later. Now before we poach this, I'm just going to clean up a little bit of the fish, just a little. I'm going to leave the skin on and that's it. But to start with this recipe, I'm going to take my fillet of fish and we're going to poach it. I'm going to get a pot of water on, bring it up to a light simmer. I'm going to add a little bit of lemon as well as a bay leaf. You can add some peppercorns in as if you want. You can even make a coupe bouillon if you want as well. It all depends. Basically season the water, put the fish in, and I'm only going to poach this for a few minutes, two to three minutes. Depending on the size cut of fish that you have will determine the amount of time that you want to cook it. Although I'm going to take it out of the water just before it's fully cooked because the residual heat is going to cook through the fish because I don't want to overcook the salmon. The only reason why we're doing this, you can do this raw, but the reason why I prefer to do this cooked is because it's easier than to take it apart. Now, after you take the fish out and after it's cooled off, we want to flip it over and take off the skin. If you see any little gray tissue on the underside of the skin, this is all the blood and the rest of the residue that you want to take off, so get rid of it. Again, check for any extra bones that you missed if you pulled any out beforehand. And if it's not flaking enough, then you can just take it onto your cutting board and slice the salmon up into smaller pieces unless it shreds apart. Just put that in the bowl and set that aside. Now for the shallots, I'm just going to burn wasis. You want these super, super small because you don't want this to taste like shallots. And as I said many times, I've made uh, tutorials on how to cut an onion and shallot, so I'll leave that video down if you guys want to check that out. Now for the little red bell pepper, I'm just gonna segment it into little pieces. And a quick way on taking the membrane off is by flattening it from the outside with your hand, flipping it over, and then carefully removing it with your knife, and then just slicing little batons, turning them and slicing them into bernoise as well. Super easy. And we can also take a little bit of chives. You can substitute the chives if you want as well for parsley. You can even substitute it for tarragon, for dill, etc., etc. We're going to saute the shallots in a little saute pan until they are clear. And then I'm also going to saute the red bell peppers. You're just gonna put a little oil in the pan and cook them until they're translucent and until the red bell peppers turn softer. And then for the capers, we're gonna do the same thing. We're just going to cut these up into smaller pieces so more or less everything's the same size. And once all this is finished, we're going to add all of this to the bowl, plus the salmon that we cut up as well. I'm going to add some breadcrumbs in 
and I'm also going to add a few egg yolks in as well. Two egg yolks for about one pound of salmon that we have. You can add a little bit of mayonnaise as well if you want. This will add a little bit of moisture to it since the breadcrumbs will dry this out. And a quick way on seeing if it's seasoned enough is to take a little piece and cook it before you actually cook everything and put them into patties to make sure that there's enough salt. And if there is, that's great. If not, add a little more salt, mix it up, and then we're going to take our little hotel pan or a little tray. I'm gonna put down some parchment paper, add a few more breadcrumbs, and then I'm just going to roll little patties out. Super simple, just like rolling croquettes, which by the way, I did make a video on how to make some delicious croquettes, which you can click here if you want to see that video. So now once you roll out your little salmon patties, you're gonna take a little saute pan, put some oil in it, get it very hot, and we're just going to get a little bit of color on both sides of the patties. Since everything is cooked, we don't have to overcook these in the pan right now. There is egg in it, so you want it hot, but you want a little bit of color on the outside. And once you're finished, that's it. It's time to plate, and this goes excellent, especially with the tartar sauce that we made in the last video which again is a very, very good recipe as well, which I encourage you guys to try if you haven't done so already. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe for salmon cakes, and I will be making many more videos to come. Be sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss any content on my channel, and head over to Twitch as well, since I do live videos and live cooking on there as well. Anyway guys, have a great week, enjoy summer, and I'll see you guys again very soon.